Oh, sorry. I was just taking pictures of myself for my MySpace page. Twitter is probably my biggest social networking time suck. One of my favorite ways to procrastinate is reading uh, productivity books and blogs. There's a lot of them. Eight blogs, you know, well, unless, actually, unless they are. Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. It was just Twittering about conversation. Am filming a conversation now. Procrastination. Procrastination. We are. Let's talk about it. Do you procrastinate? I see you. I see you watching this video. We all do it. I mean, we all do it. I used to be really good at procrastinating, especially working from home with no kids and no responsibilities, I would spend all day procrastinating and then around like midnight, I would work. I am absolutely a procrastinator. It's just painful. It is painful to talk about because it just brings up all the things that I haven't gotten done today, in fact. It's gotten so bad that my friends actually give me presents like this. <laughs> like this book, um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which talks about procrastination basically um, and how you can uh, cure yourself of that. So yeah, that's a gift from my friend. The only way uh, I've been able to get over procrastinating is to just trick myself. Just find any way I can to trick myself into getting work done or force myself because I can't go 15 minutes without checking my email and I have tried. I've tried to establish a schedule for myself or no, I'm only gonna check at noon and it, then again at eight. But I just, I can't stop checking it. I check my email once a week and that sounds probably crazy, but otherwise it's just, I just don't have time to check my email. And it's not even that there's anything in there that's really um, pressing, it's just that there's so, there's so much. The idea, Rebecca, that you could go a week without checking your email is, I am astounded. I am completely, I am actually gobsmacked. I think that writing a list is so essential to my productivity. And there's something wonderful about checking off a to-do list that makes me feel like I've accomplished something. It's like a little celebration when I cross something off the list. I will uh, reward myself for working. Uh, if that's, you know, a few minutes on the internet, or a little pat on the back, or a little magazine reading, something light and fluffy, or a cookie. I've given myself cookies for getting enough work done. And then I was checking my Facebook status, updating it. Just, you know, finished eating breakfast. I am just always shocked how quickly technology has changed our lives and our expectations for having everybody want everything right now, now, now. And I'm just, you know, I don't have time for that. When Henry was little and wasn't in school, it was really, really, I had to be really structured with my time. And now that he's in school, um, I feel like just that nine to three time, or the, now I've got nine to five, he's in camp until five, which is fantastic. But having that time, it really, it structures you. If I have stuff I need to do, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stay away from Twitter, I'm gonna stay away from Facebook, I'm gonna stay away from the internet just in general. I think it's just one of those things as a mother, like you spend so many years just doggedly making sure that your kid has everything, or kids have everything that they possibly need. And I mean, that's like a full-time job. And of course I work too, so a full-time job. And so those, were the things that my life has been completely absorbed by. I was emailing Nigerian kings who wanted to friend me and give me millions of dollars. Join the Monversation at monversation.com.